Hello everyone. So today I'm going to explain you about the essential Hadoop tools. Uh, here we are mainly concentrating on Apache Pig, Apache Hive, Apache Scoop to acquire the relational database. Today I'm going to explain the first three tools. So first let us go come with the Apache Pig. So Apache Pig, which is a high level language that enables the programmers to write the complex MapReduce transformations using simple scripting language. So Pig Latin, which defines a set of transformations on data set such as aggregate, join and sort. Okay, so Pig, which is usually uh, performs the three processes, extract, transform and load. We usually call it as ETL process. So for especially on the data pipelines for performing quick research on the raw data. So when you are performing the process, so we will want to perform all the processes in the iterative manner and it is called as an iterative data processor. So there are different modes in which we are going to use the Apache P. So the different usage modes are so first it works under the local mode in which all the processing is done on the local machine itself whereas the second one is um, the non-local mode where we are working on the clusters by making use of uh, uh, the cluster operations like uh, which are working on uh, map reduce and the taste. So these modes executes the job on the cluster so instead of on the local machine so here we are going to execute it on the uh, clusters either by using the map produce engine or we have also uh, the taste engine making use of, by making use of any one of these engines you can execute the job on the clusters so there are also some interactive mode and batch modes which are available so which enables the PIV applications to be developed locally in the interactive modes so using this uh, the, a small amount of data then that run at a large scale uh, to produce on the different production modes so here we come across with a, a table which will show you uh, the different apache pig usage modes so if you are working with the interactive mode so the local mode says s and it is experimenting on taste engine even it is can be done on uh, uh, map reduce and the batch mode also we have here it is again the same as that of the interactive mode so apache hive so the next tool which comes under the hadoop is the apache hive whenever we want to perform any uh, database kind of operations like so or you want to access the data from the data warehouse so we need to make use of apache hive in the Hadoop platform. So here the data warehouse infrastructure is specially built on the Hadoop for providing data summarization, ad hoc queries and the analysis of the large data set using the SQL languages. Okay, so here uh, like the other SQL query languages, we also have a language called as Hive SQL. So Hive is considered to be one of the standard interactive query language where the queries over the petabytes of a data. So huge data using the Hadoop which offers the following features. So the tool enables us to extract the transform and load the data very easily compared to the other tools. Okay. Uh, the mechanism to impose the structure on the variety of data formats and we can also access the files which are stored either directly in HDFS or the other data storage by making use of like this tool that is such, such, such kind of a database we usually call it as HBase. So the query execution via MapReduce and the Taze which is completely optimized compared to all the other MapReducing things and these are the some important features which the Apache Hive will offer compared to all the other which are tools which are already existing. So Hive provides the users with um, which are, who are already familiar with SQL languages they have a capability to execute the queries and uh, 
they can use some Hadoop clusters also. So how I make it possible for the programmers who are already familiar with MapReduce framework to add a custom mappers and reduce the high queries. So high queries can also be dramatically accelerated using Apache Taste framework which runs under Hadoop YARN. Okay, so using Apache Scoop. So next, as we have seen Apache Pick and Apache Hive. So the next tool which we are going to learn here is Apache Scoop, which is specially used to acquire the relational data. So Scoop is a tool which is designed to transform the data between the Hadoop as well as the relational database. So Scoop will help us to import the data from RDBMS to uh, to the Hadoop distributed and also transform the data in the Hadoop and then we can also export the data back into the RDBMS. So here we have the different steps. So we can import and we can transform and also we can export. So as we have already seen this, okay, a scoop can also be used with the JDBC or visually we can call it as a J, J, the Java database connectivity compliant. So database which is tested for Microsoft MySQL Server, Postgres SQL and uh, SQL MySQL as well as the Oracle. So there are different versions of uh, scoop. So the regarding the versions 1 and 2 we are going to see in the upcoming slides. and. Um, so let us go with uh, the as i have already told uh, there are different steps to import and export the data from rdbms to hdfs and also from hdfs to rdbms so here we'll go with the steps so we have the diagram over here so in the rdbms the first step is to import the data so initially scoop will going to get the data or gather the data from uh, uh, rdbms and it will going to perform uh, the transformation process so once the transformation is process which is done and the data will be stored into the hdfs storage for this it will going to use only map reduce map only only map only technique will be used so for example see here um, here we have the data import which is done in two steps the first step is to examine the data and gather the necessary data from the metadata and the second step is to map only process where the Hadoop will going to uh, get and get the data and it will going to submit the same to the clusters. So similarly we have um, export method. So in the data export method the cluster uh, will work in a similar fashion. So export is again done in the two steps. The first step is to examine the data for uh, database for metadata and export it and using again only map only uh, technique and uh, again write the data back to the database. So scoop divides uh, the input data set into different splits and then individually maps to the stars and splits the data. Okay. And um, here again we have two steps the same first is to gather and then is to export. So from Hadoop storage to it will go back to the Hadoop scoop job and then we want to give it to the RDBMS. Okay, so let us go with the different versions of uh, Apache Scoop. Uh, so Apache Scoop version 1 uh, especially uses a different connectors to access the external systems. So these connectors are optimized for uh, various RDBMS or for the system that support it. So those systems that will not support the JDBC. So those can be accessed mm, by using Scoop extension framework. So here scoop is efficiently used to transform between uh, the Hadoop and the external source support connectors. So let us go with what are the different connectors which are popularly available so that we can we can get those things. By default scoop version comes under uh, comes with uh, MySQL, Progress SQL, uh, Postgres SQL, Oracle SQL Server and DB2. So it also supports the direct transfer from RDBMS to HDS or Hive. So there are some contrast kind of a things which are available in version 2. So here which will no longer support the specialized all those existing specialized connectors. So they here direct import from HBase to Hive. So all important exports are done only through JDBC interface. So let us see the table. 
uh, where which will help us to got to know what are the uh, different versions which are works which will be supported by scoop version 1 and scoop version 2 so the features which are supported by version 1 are uh, the connectors like we have a mysql is oracle progress sql all those things are supported by scoop version 1 and which are not being supported by version 2 but you can use their a jdbc connector so the security kerberos security is initially supported in version 1 but it is not supported in version 2 so data transfer from uh, dbms to hive is supported and here it is not supported so if it is not supported here we need to first import from the data from metadata that is rdbms into hdfs and then we need to load that data back to hive or hbase manually we need to do the things here manually which consumes the time and data data transfer from uh, hive to rdbms or hbase to high DB, uh, rdbms so again it is not supported directly in version 1 so first again we need to extract uh, export the fro uh, data from hive and then into the hdfs then use scoop to export and in uh, version 2 also it is not supported first we need to export the data from hive and then we need to convert it into uh, like the hdfs then uh, we need to use the scoop for the export so this is all about the tools three tools which we have in as a, a hadoop essential tools uh, apache pig apache hive and apache scoop so that's all about this thank you thank you one and all